Every single one of us has flaws and shortcomings. Recognizing these weaknesses is the first step toward conquering them. This isn't some feel-good nonsense. This is a call to arms, a demand for you to face the brutal truth about yourself and fight back. Watch this video to the end, because I'm going to lay out five clear signs that expose your weaknesses and show you exactly how to crush them. Point 1. Social Media's Toxic Positivity Wake up! Social media is flooded with so-called influencers who peddle the idea that it's perfectly fine to be weak, fat, lazy, and whatever other excuse they can find. These people are not your friends. They are preying on your insecurities, selling you the lie that it's okay to settle for mediocrity. Their entire empire is built on comforting the weak who are too lazy or too afraid to change. When someone points out that you're overweight and suggests you do something about it, the rational response should be to acknowledge the problem and take action. But no, if you're under the spell of these influencers, you retort with, I love myself as I am. No one can tell me how to live my life. That's not self-love. That's toxic positivity. Here's the hard truth. If you find solace in these comforting lies, you are refusing to face reality. You reject advice, dismiss criticism, and hide behind your weaknesses. If you catch yourself saying you love yourself while you wallow in self-pity and inaction, understand that you are not in love with yourself. You're in love with your weaknesses. You cling to them because they are your comfort zone. Point two, dominance is a sign of weakness. You've seen them. People who flaunt their wealth, their flashy cars, their luxurious houses, their latest tech gadgets, or their well-sculpted bodies. They project an image of strength, but it's all a facade. Inside, they are hollow. Their need to dominate every situation reveals their deep-seated insecurities. The moment someone stronger, richer, or more attractive comes along, these so-called dominators shrink away. If you're one of these people, constantly showing off to mask your insecurities, know that you're playing a losing game. True power is internal, not something you can display like a trophy. It comes from within, from knowing who you are and standing firm in your own skin, regardless of external validation. Point 3. Reactive behavior. Look at social media wars. One person throws an insult, and the other retaliates, wasting time and energy in a pointless battle. This knee-jerk reaction is a glaring sign of weakness. It screams that you lack self-control and that your sense of self-worth is at the mercy of others' opinions. When you let others' words affect you, you're handing them the keys to your identity. Real strength is about having a solid sense of self that doesn't waver with every insult or piece of criticism thrown your way. It's about standing tall, unshaken, because you know who you are and you refuse to let anyone else define you. Point four, emotional dependency. Being in a relationship isn't a weakness, but desperately needing one to feel complete is. If you're clinging to someone because you think they will fill the void inside you, you're setting yourself up for misery. Dependency is not love. It's weakness. It's a refusal to confront and address your own issues, instead placing that burden on someone else. A strong person values their own worth and seeks relationships based on mutual growth and respect, not as an escape from their own insecurities. They are complete in themselves and choose to be with someone out of desire, not necessity. If you find yourself desperate for a relationship to feel whole, you're weak, period. Point five, genuine strength attracts. Stop wasting your time trying to attract attention with flashy displays or trendy antics. That's not strength, it's immaturity. Genuine power comes from within. A mature person understands that real freedom and power come from inner strength, not superficial attractiveness. Instead of chasing fleeting moments of validation from others, focus on building your own resilience and fortitude. Real strength doesn't need to shout. It's quiet, steady, and unyielding. It doesn't depend on others' perceptions but on your own unshakable belief in yourself. These five points are not just observations. They are a roadmap to recognizing and eliminating your weaknesses. They are a call to arms, a challenge to rise above your current state and become the person you are meant to be. Stop living in denial. Face your weaknesses head on, fight them with every ounce of your being, and emerge stronger than ever. This is your battle, and it's time you start fighting it like you mean it. This channel serves as your beacon, guiding you on the path to mastery in all facets of existence. And if you're ready to ascend to greater heights, bestow upon us the boon of your endorsement by smashing that like button and subscribing. Until our paths converge again, remain resolute.